Yo, what is good, my BGA crew? Welcome back to my channel. So today, you guys, I got an appetite like no other or whatever. And today, I'm gonna try to consume this entire rotisserie chicken. This is butter garlic flavor and then right here, I have me some nacho cheese. What I did, oh my God, I'm salivating so bad. I took a regular can of El Mexicano cheese and then I have um, Mrs. Klein's extra hot pickles and I poured about a cup of that juice in here, about two tablespoons of cayenne pepper and a teaspoon of chili powder and then I added about two cups of shredded Mexican cheese. Ay, Dios mío, Padre Santo. I am so ready for this. So before I get started, thank you, Jesus, for this food. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Yeah, so let's get started because I'm starving. Oh, my God, you guys. I don't even know where to attack this from. I'm like, what do I do? Do to do, hooty hoo, woody whoop, boop, boop. I don't know what I got to do. I've been deprived of food so long. Like, I, I just broke. I, I just broke. I'm about to break an 18 hour fast. And I'm like, do I turn into the, the walking dead or what? Do I just go savage on this mother trucker? Or what do I do? Uh, you know what? I'm going to start with a leg. Uh, let's start with this side. Woo! Oh, man, this sucker's hot. Oh. Oh yeah, this bad boy hot. I just pulled her out the oven. Oh yeah, oh. Oh, yes. I don't know if you guys can see that steam. Whether you can or can't. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's crispy skin though. Okay, here we go. Mm. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm trying to get my thumbnail. Oh yeah, hold on. It ain't on here thick enough. Ooh. Oh, okay, here we go. I've been dreaming about you. I've been thinking about you. And here you are at last. Spicy pickle juice. Oh, I didn't have jalapeno juice, so I was like, what's the next best thing? Wow. <laughs> mm. I was craving fried chicken. But I'm like, fried chicken ain't low carb. But guess what is? <laughs> Rotisserie chicken. <laughs> This is everything, everything, I fiction. Mm. Listen, Linda, if y'all haven't tried this chicken and cheese thing, mm. wow, mmm, and it's nice and spicy from that cayenne. Mmm, you guys. I am going to be bolded and grounded. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. 
Mm. Mm. Whoever said you can't add, you can't eat good on keto? Bad. <laughs> mm. And I got me a Power Aid Zero in white cherry. Okay. Uh, now the breast. Here we go. Oh man. This about to get real, y'all. This about to get real. Okay, here we go. Mm. Okay. Oh. Wow. I never saw something so beautiful in my whole life. Oh. Oh, here we go. I don't care about a napkin right now. Mm. Wow. Wow. You guys. I'm sorry this is messy eating. I'm sorry, not sorry. <laughs> oh my God, when you have been starving for 18 hours, nothing in the world really matters except this meal. Mm. Mm. So, I have been doing great for those of you who are wondering doing fantastic my body is finally adjusting now there are moments obviously it's probably just me being hangry but there are moments when I'm like in a mood feeling down all around so I gotta get up and eat before I fight Somebody who even breathes on me. <laughs> I'm serious. When you're hungry, oh my God, even the wind blowing sideways, you're trying to fight. Like, who? Who coming at me? What? What? Oh, it was just the wind. Oh, shoot. I thought somebody was trying to jump me. I'm about to fight. I'm so hungry. <laughs> exactly. Literally. For those of y'all that can relate, put... What emoji should we put? For those of y'all that can relate, put a blue heart. Mm. Wow. You guys, this nacho cheese is fire. I was literally just whipping it up in my kitchen. I'm so hungry. I'm like, I'm craving that like vinegary taste from the jalapenos. I'm craving uh, spice. So I was like, what better idea to do than add my spicy pickle juice? And some cayenne pepper. 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 <laughs> Wow, this is amazing, utter amazing. I never knew chicken and, and uh, cheese could go so good together. Mm. So, for 
for those of you that follow me on Snapchat, I'm sure you guys seen that this weekend we were celebrating my nephew's birthday. He rented a hotel at uh, one of the casino resorts here in Arizona, in Scottsdale. So, we decided to go to Benihana's for dinner, you know, to celebrate. And for those of you who have been to Benihana's, or who, sorry, who haven't been to Benihana's, Benihana's is like a, um, an Asian restaurant where they cook, you order, your food and a personal chef comes here to you're seated around this grill and your personal chef comes to your little booth your area and like I said there's a skillet there's a, a grill a, not a grill it's a skillet like a flat flatbed skillet where he cooks all your food fresh to order so I ended up ordering a uh, the filet mignon with the colossal shrimp and every entree you order like that comes excuse me comes with soup salad your choice of white rice fried rice and some others to ice cream for dessert and i ended up as hard as it was i ended up opting out of the uh mind you no discount so i paid full price and i still didn't eat my fried rice or my ice cream. I opted out of both of them. I'm like, oh, but real quick, you want to add something to your order? Yeah, can I add an extra side of pickles or an extra side of wasabi? Yeah, that'll be 260 extra. Uh, okay, can I take away some fried rice and some ice cream? They still want to. Yeah, actually, we're going to charge you seven extra dollars to remove something off the menu, off your order. <laughs> I don't get the concept. If I'm removing something, okay, take that, deduct that price. Anyway, this place is really good, but it's super expensive. I paid almost $80 for my meal. Mind you, I didn't buy no alcohol. Everyone was drinking around me. I ordered me an iced tea and, oh, and I ordered some uh, sashimi. I ordered salmon, whitefish, and tuna, um, and then an extra order of salmon. So, yeah, my bill was close to $80. It was worth it, but God dang, people... These restaurants are quick to charge you to add something, but you want to remove something, and they, they're like, uh-uh. Nope. You're lost. Mm. Oh, man. Man, this cheese. Wow. So good. Ooh, cheese is still hot. Mm. Man. That's the best thing ever. Oh, but anyway, so I got distracted with my chicken. <laughs> me and her, we're on a date. So don't nobody talk to me. Don't nobody talk to us. Don't nobody bother us. Don't nobody look at us. Because we making out right now. Hi, baby. We making out. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, afterwards, we are going to do a hookah lounge, but they were packed. So, we ended up going to, uh, where did we go? Oh, yeah. We ended up going back to the hotel. They were drinking. Um, again, big guy appetite. Sober as can be. Y'all know how much I love me my beers and my little mixed drinks. 
Nope. Even though they were trying to convince me, they're like, Theo, this liquor right here is keto friendly. This right here is keto friendly. We got diet soda to mix it with. I'm like, one, one of those, I'm weak right now. Like, I don't want to say I'm weak, but I'm just in the beginning of my keto stage and I'm vulnerable. And one drink for me will lead to two. Two will lead to three. Three will lead to f seven. Seven will lead to me not giving the F and eating a big greasy cheeseburger, extra large chili cheese fries, also a carne asada burrito and a carne asada nacho plate, and then lay down mighty happy at night. <laughs> yeah, going to sleep nice and comfy, and then waking up in the morning regretting life, and then wanting to quit keto altogether because I'm a big complete up uh, because I'm a big complete failure. So no, thank you. I stuck to my guns, and I was like, I'm good. I'm good. Y'all have fun. I'm having fun. So anyway, this uh, casino, I don't know, it's like 15 stories high. On the 15th floor, the whole floor is a nightclub. <laughs> For those of you that have me on Snapchat, y'all saw what went down. <laughs> oh my God, man, we had a blast. For those of you that are not following me on Snapchat, make sure you add Nate Nate, that's N-A-T-3-N-A-T-E. So yeah, I will see you guys there. But anyway, you guys, I literally killed about three-fourths of this chicken. All that's left is a wing and a chicken breast. Oh, you know what? Some of this thigh. Let me do some of this thigh. Just so she don't feel lonely over here that I didn't touch her thigh. Gotta grab the thighs or the ladies feel, they feel neglected. Hi, huh, baby? You feel neglected? Mmm. Okay. Mm. I grabbed one of her breasts, both legs and both thighs. <laughs> the chicken, that is. I'm talking about the chicken, you nasties. Mm. All right. So I'm going to let it be known right now. I don't want the keto police coming for me later. I'm, I allow myself to have cheat days. When I lost my 42 pounds back in January, excuse me. I lost those 42 pounds in 45 days, and I still allowed myself cheat days. But my promise to myself is, I need to go two weeks straight, hard, and strong with no failing, and then I will allow myself to have a cheat day. So basically a cheat day every two weeks. And on that cheat, it's not gonna be a cheat day, don't get me wrong, it's a cheat meal. So whatever I do, y'all, every two weeks, I'm gonna bring you guys something delicious, carby, unhealthy, maybe deep fried, triple deep fried. I don't know, sweets and all. But that particular meal is going to be my cheat day. So don't come for me, keto police. I said it now, loud and proud. I'm going to have me a cheat day, okay? So don't come for me. Even if you do come for me, I'm still going to do it. <laughs> As always, thank you so much to my BGA crew for your love and support. You guys are amazing. Without you guys... Big Guy Appetite would not be possible, so thank you. Thank you so much for your love and support. If you're watching this and you're not yet a part of the BGA crew, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you're notified every time that I upload a new video and every time that I go live. Yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, besitos.